Racing, racing you! Where's the track gone? <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> oh, handbrake at the lane, look at that! Rock! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Good day, fellow gamers. It is I, relevant streamer slash content creator. Maybe not, actually. Hmm. And welcome back to another video. So, a couple of months ago, I did a video in a set of Corsa, of course, known for its super duper serious sim racing, which, of course, I am a uh, connoisseur. Donkey! But, of course, I'm also a big fan of doing stupid shit. So, we found the most cursed mods I could find at the time in a set of Corsa, took them around a track, and just explored that weird side of modding. And it turns out, there were far more mods than I had time to include in one video. So here I am, several months later now, with a whole new bunch of cars, boxes, fruits, other weird items and planes, to test out some more of the most cursed mods in a set of Corsa, so you don't have to. Or, of course, you're going to want to. So below in the description, I'll have all links for these mods when I remember to actually put them there. Hey, yo, what the fuck? What? Blue? That's got that new COVID strain, yo. And I've got to say a big thank you to my guys in my Discord, because I went in there and basically went, hey, guys, got any cursed mods? And then the floodgates oh, opened. No. I mean, I don't really know what I expected. Now, I'm sure you guys have wondered how Amazon the next day delivery works. Well, I'm about to show you, because right here we have the Amazon Prime box, specifically the Amazon.co.jp box for all you box enthusiasts out there. I know you are. I know you're among us. <laughs> and unfortunately, Daddy Bezos didn't actually give us any specs for this thing, so I have no idea what it actually is. It has an engine. Does sound like it's missing a little bit. But most importantly, we're going to see how it drives. I'm going to imagine uh, the drag coefficient isn't great, given that there is a literal straight edge <laughs> on the side of it. Sounds like something, and apparently it's H pad, so away we go in our box. Oh, and she accelerates! The gearing is actually like super short, so already in sit gear. So it seems okay, it seems to drive fairly all right, actually. I mean, I can't actually see over it, <laughs> which is a bit of a problem. I'm having to sort of guess where I'm going into the corners a little bit, and it does understeer a lot. It's not got the best handling in the world, but it does move around quite a bit. You can see if you look at the bottom end of the box, that you know, we're having a lot of suspension travel. There you go, there's uh, Max Revs. Oh, where's the downforce when you need it? Bring it back in. Oh, no, no, I missed a gear. <laughs> I've crashed my box. You know, these uh, Amazon Prime boxes are renowned for their bad gearboxes, apparently. That's better. Now my tyres are warm. I'm not really sure if I have tyres or it's just some sort of cardboard. Stop missing second gear, you shit! Right, okay, let's go for a super serious hot lap in our box. I'd be interested to see what sort of time it can do. I have no idea what's underneath it. It feels fairly quick. Like, you've got a bit of power. Not infinite, like, you know, 300 horsepower or so, I'd say. If I was to guess it. But we are missing that ABS. And it is a bit of a chungus in the corners. Okay, easy. Look at that. Nice and... Just using the boxy downforce. <laughs> Why am I tryharding? This always happens in these videos. I'm, like, I'm going to try and do a good lap time in this actual... Get in the gear! Ah! Come on! Uh, across the line! It's a 103.5 for the Amazon box. <laughs> POV. You just ordered. Next day delivery. <laughs> Yo, package here, baby! <laughs> That's... To be honest, the usual Amazon experience, so that's fine. Fuck's sake. Yo, guys, we heard you like sim racing. So we put a sim rig in your simulator so you can sit in your sim rig and drive a sim rig in your simulator. This is a bit too meta, even for me, man. So this is uh, it's called the Mojito MR1, which actually is quite similarly laid out. Kind of weird, actually. Again, I have zero idea what this car actually is. I, all I know is it apparently has slick tyres and very, very, very short gears, so 
not really sure how it's going to go. <laughs> See, that, that's the sound of a direct drive wheel powering up. Do we have an onboard view for this? <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. Right, okay, let's go. Simbring, baby! Oh, she's not fast. How does she handle, though? Oh, it's stuck! Oh, no! Don't spin the Simbring! Excuse me, guys. Can't stay. I've got gaming to do. <laughs> oh, God. Uh... <laughs> Send her in. Oh, my God, the force feedback, the force feedback. No! Uh... Hold it! <laughs> Right, let's actually try and set a lap. Can we beat the Amazon Prime box? Oh my god, it's rowdy out there. Go for that fifth gear. I right, can't slow it down without having a massive crash. I mean, I can't slow down. Can't race unless my knob is modeled correctly. Oh god. It's a bit snappy, the simmering. <laughs> I'm to really hold on to this. It's just not got any grip anywhere. Despite having these slick tires. It like it bites in, but then the I guess the chassis can't take it. And you just sort of flop around a bit. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. A 107.2 for the Simbrig. I mean as as mods go, this is one of them. <laughs> Confirmed. Oh my god, what a weapon. Sim racing you! Oh, and the, uh, the detail there, it's actually got the Thrustmaster load cell pedals as well as the Thrustmaster TGT brace and a fan attack shifter. Oh, very nice! Uh, shut up, Jimmy. So, no, someone didn't leave their lunch behind. This next mod is um, a banana. Literally, that's it. You're seeing it there. That's all there is to it. Um, it has zero horsepower, according to the spec sheet, and is powered by the world's smallest Ford V8 engine. We've got that V8 banana, boys. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> um, I loved how the banana just rose. <laughs> just time to banana. Oh, we're moving, boys. <laughs> Bitrate has left the chat. Oh. We can get like a more, a better view here of our guy grasping the banana. It does pull to the right, this banana. I'm not sure if that's a handling issue at all. And my guy has a firm, firm grasp there on the top of the banana. He's done that before. Oh, Jesus. Ah, here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Where do I break? There. Oh, I've no get! Ah! Oh. <laughs> it's been a simply hideous accident. I just, um, I just peeled off the circuit. Like, comment, subscribe. Here we go. Hot lap time, boys. I'm to heel and toe on a fucking banana. In slippers too, by the way, just so you know. It could do with one horsepower, as opposed to point point four or whatever it's got. I think. That would make this thing a weapon. Imagine double the horsepower of this banana with the current grip it has. Apparently it has street tyres. You know, news to me. Uh, don't really slow down though. <laughs> Check my phone. Oh, banana stonks up, nice. There you go, look at this line. Look at this line, oh he's on the, on the curb. So 125.5 for the banana. You know, usually I'd say at this point, that's all the fruit I have for this video. But no, I have more fruit to drive yet. <laughs> it's this very, very happy boy. This is the jackfruit, which can't quite sit still in the pit lane. Uh, the description of this is that it's bigger than a banana. And has more power. This has three horsepower and weighs 40 kilograms. <laughs> My man's holding on for dear life at the top. Where is he? <laughs> 
Oh, I'm pretty sure my wheel just turned itself off there. It was basically going, oh fuck, something's happening, earthquake. Yep, this has just given me a, a, a over voltage warning. Thank you, Jackfruit. Very cool. So can you like, can you hear what this is doing to my wheel? Can I go forward? Next. So a car this time that does work. This is the Lego car. You guys might recognize this because a long, long time ago, I actually drove this uh, on a stream. We did like the Ascended uh, Endurance series, which was this versus RV camper vans. This was actually faster, which is interesting to know. Um, it has like 400 horsepower on what are essentially plastic tires. And as you can see, um, not the best aero in the world, but a ton of fun to drive and hopefully a contender to try and beat our fastest time so far, set by the Amazon box. Yeah, literally, if you, go, if you go to tires, it just says Lego. Yep, all right. <laughs> I forgot how little grip this thing has. Yo! Oh, we've got an air brake! A little flap at the top! What a legend! Okay, gun it. Nope, 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 nope! Get <laughs> right, here we are, hot lap time. So we just have zero grip in the corners, as you probably expect from these Lego tyres. I guess I want to brake like here. Dare I say I could have braked a bit later there in my Lego car? Oh! <laughs> Trying to snap every every time I go near it, it tries to snap. Shitters! It still counts in my mind. Ignore that. They're actually at the same spot we were with the banana. In terms of that time right now. But we've got all the power! Oh, this is a mistake. I'm going to regret this. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> One twelve nine. Man, this thing is a weapon, but not the good sort of weapon. You know, like the sort of weapon where you have a gun, the barrel sort of curves back round and points at your face. It's it's that sort of we that sort of weapon. Now, last but certainly not least, is this thing. It's a fucking plane. This mod has been around for a long time, but I've never ever tried it before. You're seeing it for the first time here. And there are tons of things, tons of warnings when you boot this through Content Manager being like, this is probably going to crash after a couple of minutes because it's uh, not really optimized, surprisingly, for this driving game. So we're going to just jump in and uh, see if we can get this thing off the ground, I guess. How do you... Oh, we're moving. Not the fastest thing in the world. When does it take off? Oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what, what, what <laughs> so it does fly. I just have no control over it once it's in the air. We seem we seem to be stuck in some sort of weird loop here. I think we're stuck in the ground. Are we? Oh, we're definitely up. We're definitely up. We're going somewhere. Where are we going, boys? Oh, I, know, I can't reset. Well, that didn't sound good. Oh, jeez. This is it, guys. This is our time. Snowy Monza! Let's go flying! Oh, we're away. Oh my god. It's working! Stay up, stay up, stay up! Shouting at my dick. I'm in control. I'm in perfect control. What's happening here? Where's the track gone? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I've got no like pitch control or anything. It's just. Woo -woo. Let's bank her in. Oh no. Don't hit anything. Where am I? Where am I? I think I just stalled. Oh! No! Oh! Can I return from the Shadow Realm in this? Well, that sort of ended how I thought it was going to end, to be honest. <laughs> just casually at the uh, 3,000 kilometers an hour there. Well, chat, before we all die of various photosensitive seizure related issues, uh, that is another batch of cursed mods for a solo Corsa. Um, Always fun to try them out. As always, the links for everything will be down below in the description. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to tap that like button. You can subscribe as well, if you want, of course. Nearly at three quarters of a million, so subscribe, please. And as always, a massive thank you to my patrons and sponsors. Thank you all so much for supporting me doing, uh, well, making this sort of very serious sim racing content. Take care, have an awesome day. See you all next time.